Hey, you got a minute? Let's read a paper. It aims to study whether or not System 1 and System 2 thinking can be achieved by a multi-agent framework in large language models. What happens when AIs get in a group chat? Is it like System 1 and 2 thinking? Which comes from this Thinking Fast and Slow book. You've heard of System 1, which is your fast automatic response, and your System 2, which is your slow, careful, measured response. He argues what we've known for many years, that we use heuristics and biases for quick thinking shortcuts, right? Things that we've found have been useful over time that are not always, in every situation, the correct answer. We've known about them for a long time, so you've seen them in advertising. One of the main problems is most of the examples that are in this list are not part of the same subsystem. And I find a lot of people in the machine learning world get caught up in this system one, system two argument of whether or not machine learning things are really thinking. Unfortunately, the research that the book is grounded in has been unable to be replicated by people trying to replicate research. So there's no actual reputable science behind this book and we don't really like have any rigorous definition of what's system one and what's system two and why and what the like operational mechanics are. He falsely equates resolving distance, reading text, completing phrases, doing simple math and reading and driving, all of which use completely different subsystems in your brain. Some involve the limbic system, some involve your like visio motor cortex and like some of them involve like your proprioceptive senses which are part of your ears and so those are two separate areas right and so system one versus system two is a non-materialist like category while he seems to say system two is anything you have to think about for a second where Muscle isolation is a totally different process than mental calculation, which is a totally different process than just counting, which is a totally different process than coming up with something to say. Um, and we know this from like looking at the brain. So this, this isn't grounded in any kind of neuroscience, right? None of that is fun or thought leadery to say. So people want to use the words from what everyone is talking about. And there's a lot of machine learning scientists who've said, well, it might be able to do system one thinking, but not system two thinking. And so it is not AGI. So largely this is about a rationalization. This paper actually addresses some of these criticisms, right? It actually aims to prove that system two thinking can be done by language models if we give them space to think with a multi-agent approach. It looks like it had an impact on retrieval performance and on hypothesis quality. It's pretty hard to do complicated math without any paper and without having the space to think about it and having to get the answer right on the first try. And that's why people think that large language models can't reason, right? but they have to reason out loud. It's a little bit like the type of people who don't have an internal monologue. Remember 2022? So this paper came out then, and that's when we figured out that let's think step by step gives them the space to work it out. If we say that you have to be able to have an internal monologue to be conscious, then, or like to be doing reasoning, then we have to say that there are people who cannot be conscious or do reasoning. By giving multiple agents different responsibilities in a complex emerging situation, we're able to take different perspectives on what might be happening. So what they measured was, did they come up with better ideas and did they look up better articles about what was going on? And you could take this research and from right up here and change what you're evaluating and do your own research and do follow-up work based on their agent framework. And then you would be contributing real research. That would be a good place to start if you were looking for a spot. The way that everything works is you've got a bunch of agents that have an ability to talk to one another and things that they believe. This allows agents to update their in context or in the inputs to the language model priors which isn't updating the weights of the language model, which, so it won't 
change what the language model remembers. So if you're not writing language models, that's what that means. And then on these sets of beliefs that they update by writing them down as text, similar to how ChatGPT has memories, they have these beliefs as memories. And then in the situation that they're in, they essentially have retrieval augmented generation, a RAG pipeline on these belief statements, each agent. Then the agents read the information and summarize it in their own words based on their own beliefs. And then they keep track of those beliefs. The agents then use a gossip protocol to tell their friends about what they've read. Basically, agents gossip to change each other's minds. But it looks like the agents can confuse themselves when there's too many people talking about an emerging event. They create small echo chambers and everyone gets confused. This research proves some things about humans too. We see this behavior in humans and the dynamics are the same, as in the things that drive the behavior uh, mathematically in a game theoretical way. That's, that's the stuff that's, that's different. Don't forget, uh, I run a school because I love you and I do this instead of going to make real money and it's because I love you. So sign up maybe if you want. All right, love you.